someone seems to be gaining um traction this this speed that someone's gaining speed or moving faster in something and i'm seeing like an old person and i don't mean to in any way shape or form afford of uh, offend anyone not afford anyone offend anyone but i'm seeing an older person kind of like you know when somebody is um a bit ambivalent like they may be saying oh my gosh well done for you I know that's great for you but they're saying it in a way that they're not really celebrating with you or they're you know backhanded compliment oh that's a lovely dress it'd look even better if you know if your hips are a bit smaller that kind of energy that's what i'm getting here and there's something about your energy that really irks them like really irks them and it could be because you're young and toned it could be because you are older and you take care of yourself it could be that you're older but you have a very youthful vibe about you you're very i heard sprightly um, it could be that you just have a positive outlook on life and they expect you to be in the same boat as them because this person is sour. That's what I'm getting. This person is sour. I mean, I have the devil card coming out straight away. You have the six of wands underneath as well. King of pentacles is straight underneath that as well. And I feel like I need to keep cleansing the screen because they're watching as well. This is not just those who are watching to, you know, encourage their their own healing and to get inspiration and for confirmation and clarity of what they already know there are also people who are sitting there bitterly and i can feel them i know when when they're in the um, comment sections i know when they're you know sitting there watching with their judgy vibes it's just i suppose a part and parcel of being on youtube but they are listening into your conversations or they're just watching you at work so maybe you work with this person this could be i don't know how but this is the look that they're giving it's like they can't hide the fact that this is the energy that they're in this is the energy that they're vibing in they don't like it they don't like that you keep sidestepping certain things because this person feels very overwhelmed very kind of like bogged down by life because i'm literally seeing somebody wearing like a handkerchief around their their head tied up it's very kind of making themselves old when they're not because you can be in your 70s and still be walking down that runway looking like you know she ate um or you can be walking down the runway looking like you have the little you know tying it up and making yourself really small and there's a difference there it's to do with vibration and this person they don't like that you keep getting out of some sort of burdens or that you keep you keep the way that you view things in a sunny disposition. Talking about in my day, I used to look like that. And don't worry, looks will fade. Oh, okay. So you have that talent, but don't worry. Soon your joints will hurt and you won't be able to do it. Or once you've had kids or once you've settled down. And it's the energy of projecting how they feel about what they've missed out on. Because this isn't about, you know, it could be them talking to a younger person and going, you know, you're going to be stuck in a certain place. But it's more to do with them feeling bitter that they've missed out on certain opportunities that you are reveling in or you're reveling in. Um, my name is Bronwyn. Welcome to my channel. This is really nice to have you here. If you are a new face, welcome in. Welcome in. If you are a returning subscriber, soul family, heart kisses that look like a heart this time because usually they look like a peach or something doesn't it kisses it's really good to have you here i am going to be ringing some bells just to cleanse the space around us so if you have any type of sound sensitivity please turn down your listening device in three two one and together there we go so i'm going to be putting out the devil card here this is about um I feel like this is to do, it is to do with your career. This is Capricorn. But there's comparing going on here. There's something here about comparing like to like because they're both covering themselves up. They're both kind of uncomfortable with what they see. Either it mirrored back at them. And it is, it's a mirroring of some sort. This is a fire sign. 
something very fiery going on here this one down here this is Korea this is looking at career and fame Capricorn but it's it's looking at our insecurities it's looking at things that we'd rather not shine a light on you know he even has this torch over here and is hiding the torch so that people are kind of left in the dark in their shadow uncomfortable by the shadow you have the six of wands here someone someone who has failed to look within the darkness that they we all have we all have a light and a dark we all have a shadow self and it's looking back at you going well i'm not the failure i didn't do anything wrong and i heard why do people have to be like that i don't know who is questioning why do people have to be like that not that they have to be is that it's very scary to heal it's scary to look within self and go oh my gosh this hurts here or i don't like how that makes me feel i need to be vulnerable with myself and go hey I need a little bit of help here. Sometimes the help is needed on the outside. Sometimes it's, hey, I need therapy or, hey, I just need support from the family or I need some reasonable adjustments at work. And voicing those needs can be scary because what if someone rejects you? What if they dismiss you? What if they say no? It's only once we, we do it and we go, no, I'm going to be courageous for myself. No matter what we are faced with, we can say, well, at least I did that. I took that step. And some people never do, unfortunately. They have the Ten of Cups to the Two of Cups, okay? You also have the Ace of Swords. This is somebody realising that um, you just got on with life. Somebody here is feeling salty. Someone is feeling salty. Ace of Swords here. Message has got to this person in some way loud and clear that you have balanced out something, that you've healed something here when it comes to family, when it comes to happily ever afters. And they're feeling bitter because maybe they never got that or they never felt like they were able to obtain that and you did. This doesn't even have to be someone that you know. This can be somebody that sees you at work or you see at the bus stop and they're just, your light really irks them. Because it's that energy of just sitting and moaning with your friends. It's like when, like I'm, I'm part Catalan. And when I go to see family or when I go over to that part of, you know, the north of Spain, in a lot of the villages, you will see like dumpy old ladies with whiskers and stuff like that. And they'll have like the little thing tied around their heads and they'll be sat outside their homes or they'll be sat in cafes or sat in like the little balconies and they're sitting with their friends. And, you know, they're just cussing out people that walk past and they're talking about everyone's business. And anyone that goes past that's like a little, you know, slip of a person. Oh my gosh, look at this person. And they're judging this person for just living their life and for having a body that maybe they had 60 years before or 50 years before. And it's like, but you are, you are the main character in your story. You are the person that drives the meat car you're in. If you didn't want to have big cankles and you didn't want to have whiskers, then go and work out or go to the doctors, have a lymph lymph massage pluck your chin whatever it may be right i have to pluck mine come on you can't blame other people for the choices you've made within your own health within your own nutrition within your own choices of who you love where you work and i know that in some places the lim there's limitations to where you can work the type of education you can get but there is no limitation on how much you love yourself how much you hydrate yourself, whether or not you're getting the sleep you need, whether or not you're doing some push-ups by the wall, whatever that may be. This person is looking at your life. They're looking from the outside in going, aren't you lucky? And you have the Queen and King of Swords here, both in reverse. I'm telling you, these are people that are just nattering. They're nattering and they don't... There's something that they've done... And they don't like that you are highlighting through your healedness their insecurities. But there's a specific person who is an elder or who is mature in age. Who's looking at you kind of like, hmm, that's so nice. Did, so you must have had surgery to look that young. Oh, you didn't. That's just DNA. Hmm, it won't last. It won't last. You'll have wrinkles soon enough. Don't worry. And it's like, why are you telling me this? Why do I need to know what your insecurities are? You project that somewhere else thank you thank you and goodbye because you've got the two of cups here this is oh this is like grandmother mother-in-law older sibling uh, cousin something along the lines when it comes to some sort of relationship 
this is not just healing this is a really this is a union this is a union of some sort oh they are they've got their nose out of joint in my day you had to marry who you were told to marry or you married and you were quiet and you did this and this or you can't be dressing like that what two women getting married Ooh, that kind of energy that would never happen in my day there wasn't anything such as you know women with short hair or two men getting married or interracial couples it's there's something here with, well, of course there was. Of course there were. It was just quiet. People had to be quiet about it because they lived in a place where that was dangerous. It was dangerous to be yourself. And I don't know if someone's come from danger or an unsafe environment to an environment or to a place where you can be yourself because it's a safe place. Or if you're going to be creating that safe place for yourself so that you can flourish. And this person's got their nose out of joint. I don't know if this person has been used to creating unsafe spaces for others or if they've always felt unsafe. So they've had to control, control, control. And I can't remember who said it, but it stayed with me. Is people who have control issues as adults are usually those who felt very unsafe as, a, as children. And I'm not a therapist, so don't, they don't quote me, but they, they usually feel very unsafe as children because they're not able to control what's happening around them. And so as they grow older, they become controlling, whether that's in relationships, you may have a controlling boss, you may have a mother-in-law or father-in-law that just has to be involved in everything their child does. Like, you know, planning the wedding, I'm gonna be up there. I wanna be up there while you're doing the vows. It's that kind of way of, if I do this, then I'm safe. So I don't know if this person is just really projecting their fears. I mean, I'm not condoning it. It's just trying to understand it, right? And you've got the Ace of Swords here. To the Ten of Cups, this is giving me for someone. This could be either like a, a business, like union. It could be a wedding. It could be like the announcement of an engagement. It could be the announcement of like a co-managing or being a co-CEO with someone. Um... There's some sort of event or announcement that is going to trigger this person into this animosity. This person is bubbling, bubbling. Like, why are you choosing this person? Like, what? That's nice. It's not going to last. Don't worry about it. But this person is worrying about it. And this person is seeing a difference in their child, in their son, in their daughter, in their he, she, they, of moving away from old traditions is what I'm hearing. They're going to hear this. It's either an invite or they may be the last one to know. They may be the last one to know. They may be the last one to know there's a baby shower. They're going to be a grandma or going to be a grandpa. They may be the last one to know that, oh my gosh, moving overseas. They may be the last one to use. I don't want to just keep listing, listing them off, but you understand, right? Truth is king. There's something about truth being king. Truth being king. And this is going to really rile them up because they've lost control. They're not the one that, they're usually the one that knows first. And then they spread that information around to other people. Did you hear my son? Yes, he got a 2-1 at university. Or well, did you hear my daughter? I'm like, no, getting those awards, isn't it wonderful? This person now is the last person to know. And not if it's, I don't even know if it's directly. I don't even know if it's directly this seems to be two people that are very they can't see past their own noses but it's it's a couple it's two people i mean it could literally be one person who's fighting within fighting within the demons in within themselves i'm hearing tell me about the devil card please we want to take one more out okay take one more please next to the seven cups oh oh straight on the floor I heard panic mode. The last row is panic mode. Well, this card is representing panic mode. Three of wands. This person may be panicking in how to stop this. How do I stop this and regain control? How do I take back what it is that I've lost? Because the three of wands is about expansion. It's, you know, 
ace the the ace of wands is that one step that one action to create something to start a new habit the two of wands is you know um it's almost like um a splitting of the path which way do you decide to go three of wands bringing in expansion after the choice that you've made this person i don't know what they're going to do but they're they're panicking the devil can i get clarity on the devil please wrong deck okay would you like to take that deck? Okay. Six of Cups to the King of Pentacles. This is to do with finances. This person is worrying. There may be a worry then, especially as we had like the King and the Queen of, of Swords in reverse. This is a breakdown of communication. There may be a lie that they're worried will come out or there's a lie that they're worried that is their child already knows or someone already knows and that's why they have gone from being in the inner sanctum to being on the outer corners almost like the last one to know we the fortunes upside down to the magician yeah they're no longer in the good graces of somebody that would usually provide for them and this is really eating them up. This is really flipping, worrying them. There's something that they have done or there's something they are privy to knowing that's put them in, they now know that they're, they're in a really bad ill luck. Should I put this one down? No, this one. Mm. The Wheel of Fortune to the Devil in reverse. They're really worried. They may be worried that they're like cursed or hexed or that they have now got... Yeah, they're worried they've got ill luck cast on them. This person may be very superstitious. What are they superstitious about? What's going on here? What are they superstitious about? I saw the card Judgment jump out and you've got the High Priestess. Oh, okay, they're scared of you. They're scared of the, the collective in some way. They're scared of how you can read them or that you've taught their child or whoever it was that they were controlling how to read their own emotions, how to, you know, take that box, that Pandora's box and open it and look at your demons and do exactly the opposite of what they've been doing, which is stuffing it down, resenting it, pretending it's not there, repressing, 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 and instead is opening it, facing your demons, facing whatever your shadow is, whatever it is that hurts. And I mean, not doing it all at once, but being courageous, looking at it, honouring it, respecting it, allowing whatever needs to let be let go of, let go of, diving into not only your emotions but this is almost like the underworld because you know for you to be reborn for you to move into new eras and to expand and to change you kind of have to go through ego deaths in the first place and pomegranates are um representative of death of the underworld there's something here that they feel they fail to do when it comes to you this person may feel like they've got ill luck because of something that they orchestrated against you and it didn't work and when they get this message that you are having a happily ever after or you are in union with someone you're in union with their child and i keep hearing their child now it doesn't have to be their physical child this doesn't have to be like a mother with their child it could be somebody who is like you know when you think of like drag mothers and when you think of RuPaul and drag and stuff like that and they have drag mothers the ones that teach those who are coming into that you know um into that industry how to do their makeup how to walk in heels how to do padding and so on and so forth this could be like a mentor this could be someone who is their work mother or something along those lines but when they realize that they're no yeah you've got king of cups coming out so the Knight of Swords, this has been revoked. They're going to know that you have helped them heal something. Or they're, they're not going to see it like that though. Because whenever you see in like movies or on videos or TikTok or whatever. And you have a controlling mother. There's very much this energy of you're taking my baby away. This is my son. This is my daughter. 
there's no room for another person they need i need to live vicariously through them and i saw a video a couple of days ago and i was like that's wild i i couldn't i could never and it was a um gender reveal and in the gender reveal they had like the mum to be and the dad to be had these popper things and when they pulled it like um a color smoke would come out either pink or blue and it came out pink and both of them popped them and it went like that and obviously the son already knew what the mum was like and he ran for his wife and as he ran for his wife to grab her the mum has come out of the crowd and is running to hug him like she wants to get there first like pr forget about the wife and the person who's actually carrying the child and he's already on it he's run to his wife and he grabs his wife and hugs her but it doesn't end there the mum still comes running after him and this is in front of everybody this is a big audience of people who were there like clapping and stuff as the pink smoke is going through the air and they're on this lawn and he has to pick her up and run with her as the mum is running behind with her arms out like this like come let me hug you and he runs in a circle the mother chases after in a circle and when she can't catch up with him on the lawn at the front it says boy and girl and she goes over to where it says boy like she's going to take out the boy one so it's just the girl so she has to be involved she couldn't just let them have their moment that's the energy i'm getting here that this person is going to realize because they've done something they did something to take away favor from you and i heard even before it happened even before it happened i don't know what that means but you have king of cups to the knight of swords they're gonna know that they're on the outer circle when their son or their daughter or their he she they no longer comes over like rushes over and it's like i'm there what do you need what do you need how can i help you they've gone from being somebody who like why don't they hit hermano mi hijo i don't know maybe this person's a spanish speaker they don't have to be maybe they're hispanic um maybe like they could be from latin america but there's something here where once before the child would come in or this person would come in they take their shoes off take their hat off respect 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 and you can see it's raining outside right so this is very much come in very cozy if this person's got a hearing aid so like switching their hearing aid on and i'm not saying that this person has to have a hearing aid but it's more denoting that they are really focusing and listening just on solely what this person is saying this older feminine energy and the knight of swords here it's going to change things are going to change and they're going to see a change in how this person responds to them calling saying oh me hijo i need you to come over or i need to speak to you or i'm not i'm feeling really sad rather than before where they'd rush over or defend them you know um they're going to stay quiet they're not going to give them the advice or they're going to be there and they'll be nodding and they'll take their shoes off and they'll be respectful but they ain't going to come jumping to their they're not going to come jumping to their rescue or, or massage their ego or be like yes 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 you're right you're right you're right they're going to listen to what this person has to say especially when it comes to you now, this is king of cups this is definitely like i'm getting more of a romantic relationship or friendship it could start as a friendship they're going to be quiet. They're not going to say anything. They're not going to say anything. They're just going to listen. And they're going to know that they've messed up. They know, they're going to know they've messed up by the reaction they get from this person that usually would take their side or be like, okay, okay. And I feel like this, whoever this person is that is threatened just by your aura, this person is used to getting their way. They're used to getting their way in. I apologise for the um, just disrupt. I, I can't speak the disruption. I do apologise for that. Let's see what else wants to come out. What else do we need to know about this? Can I get some clarity on the Ace of Swords? What's going on here? Because even the cloud that's the hand comes out of with the sword looks like it wants to pull with rain. So it's a seaweed on the the crown over that sword. Tell us, tell us what's happening there, spirit. Two of Wands, Page of Cups, you want to put it back, okay. Why? What do we need to know? 
Ace of Swords, Clarity, please. Thank you. Eight of Wands to the Emperor in reverse. To the Ace of Cups. There's something here about them not, they're not going to agree to something. Oh, okay. So when this union, be it romantic, business, friendship, whatever happens, and this older feminine energy finds out about it, and it's going to be like, they're going to find out after the fact. They're going to realise that something that was supposed to set them up, or there was some sort of business, something that was going to help them financially, that this person is stepping away from that. They're not helping them in any way whatsoever. You've got the emperor. The emperor is business acumen. This is somebody who is the CEO. This is somebody who has the blueprint to create wealth. I had wealth pockets, wealth pockets for many. That being in reverse with a the four there, this is a complete change. This is like a reversal. This person is, they're realizing that this person here, whoever this is to them, be it their actual child um, or somebody that they've been mentoring, is, is cutting them out. They're no longer important. They no longer have that control because of what they've done to you. And I want to know what it is that they did to you or what they said about you. And you also have the Eight of Wands. They've blocked them. They've literally blocked them. This Emperor in reverse, I don't feel like they're not an Emperor in reverse. They're still an Emperor, but they're coming out as a repressed or resentful Emperor or an Emperor in reverse to whoever this older feminine energy is. Because this Emperor, this person that may be coming towards you, their cup is running over for somebody who is either their equal or somebody who they see as being respectful. Someone who is helping them in some way here. Because this High Priest is holding that box to the Emperor. It's like um, esoteric to logic or um, the most high or energy connecting to spirit and then them connecting to logic and how it comes together. Yin and yang. With the Ace of Cups, and this is what this is what this person's looking for. I feel like maybe they had been controlled in a certain way. I'm hearing yes, mummy, no, mummy, three bags, four, mummy. That type of energy and they're not doing that anymore. I heard, what does that mean about me? What does that mean about me? And see how this devil energy that's coming through, this older feminine energy is just thinking about themselves. Where does that leave me then? What about me? What about, what, what am I going to feed from? I heard, where's my energy source? What, what, who's paying my rent or my mortgage? Wow. This person is very self-centered. The sun is coming up. And you've also got, Nine of Wands, the Fool. They try to do something to stop you guys from meeting or from getting together or from communicating or from being able to kind of, um, it's almost like bounce ideas off each other. There may be an age difference between you and this Emperor, but there may not be a maturity difference, especially with this Emperor being in reverse. This person may be older than their years, even if they're younger than you. Or vice versa. Now we have the sun card coming out here. And it's in reverse. Now I really wanted to put this down by um, the, the high priestess. But I've been told to put it over by the ten of cups. This was kept very quiet. There's something. And this has been coming up in a lot of my readings. That some sort of project that is going to be offered to you. Or someone in the collective. You're being asked to keep it under wraps. Keep your cards to your chest. Until this is like an actual foundation, a built upon foundation that has contracts and everyone signed it and you know what you're getting, they know what they're getting, you know what your role is, they know what their role is and you've been building on that and you've trademarked whatever and this is your baby that you're building with this emperor. But this is not just about romance, this is, romance may come in later but I feel like this is this is something more than that. It's not just about matters of the heart in love. It's like matters of the heart humanitarian in some way here. Now we've got the nine of wands in reverse. It's almost like um, this ten of cups to the sun in reverse is keeping this relationship under wraps, keeping it quiet. They may, this, 
mother in law -y kind of energy may have tried to get you kicked off of some panel or may have tried and get you kicked off of some board or off the project or off of whatever it is. And if there is a romance that buds from this, that is what has been kept quiet. And the nine of wands in reverse, there may be this energy of um, allowing your ego to lead you and going, well, why don't you want people to know about us? And blah, 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 blah and all the rest of it. And it's because of meddling energies like this person over here. Because this person is thinking about themselves, they're thinking about money, they're thinking about their safety and how they can use this emperor to their own means. You have the four and you have the ace of wands, but the four and the ace of wands, the four is in reverse. If you speak upon the projects that you're working on when it comes to this emperor, or if you speak upon the relationship that you may end up having with this emperor, and that won't be fair everyone, so please don't shout me down in the comments. You, this person, this older feminine energy will be the first hand in there to try and ignite. I heard like a witch hunt. And they'll be the first person to come in to try and block this beginning because they know it doesn't benefit them or they know that they can't, they can't manipulate you. They can't manipulate you. They can't get you on their side. They can't get you to become a yes mummy, no mummy, free bags for mummy. And if they can't get you to do that, that means that at some point they're already aware at some point this emperor is going to stop doing that too. And they will. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. They know that that is going to happen. And they, so they bring that in and it starts happening. Mm -mm. Now panic mode. Panic mode, panic mode, panic mode. What is panic mode? Family meeting, I heard. I'm calling a family meeting. Family meeting. Family members only. Ace of Swords is coming out. Three of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. This person is very, very, very good at pulling on other people's heartstrings. They are very, very good at, emo at emotionally manipulating other people. Three of Swords came out first. So this is all to do with emotions, heartbreak, loss, you know, grief, worry, 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 worry. And they're going to pop that one down right next to the three of wands then we have the ace of swords in reverse a lie lies this person's panic mode or like action stations is to have some sort of family gathering where they are going to feign being feeble or being heartbroken or they're really going to play on the fact that this emperor has moved away from being the yes man or yes woman or yes he she they and that they're becoming more independent and they're using their autonomy more. They're worried about money, but they're not going to say that. They're going to lie. They're going to lie. They're going to manipulate. And they're very, very good at doing this. They're a master of deception. Okay, so who are they going to be lying to? Who are they going to be lying to? Because it's giving me... A, it's, I'm going back to that video that I saw of that mum. And... In that video where the mum is just chasing the husband, chasing this her son around the grass while he's carrying his wife and like, you know, saying congratulations, we're having a girl. While that's happening, like there's one girl who, I don't know where she comes out, she went to pick something up off the floor. And when she sees how the, the older woman is acting, the mother is acting, she puts her hand over her mouth like this, she's like... So everybody is shocked at what she's doing. I feel like this is going to be a large girl. She'll be doing this. Ace of Cups is coming out to the devil. So this is either to a healing group. It's giving me like a circle, like going to AA or going to um, Addictions Anonymous or something along those lines. It could be a church group, a temple group, a synagogue group. There's something about getting up and talking in front of people and gaining it's more than she, she doesn't just want people to feel sorry for her. She wants them to do something about it. Money for something, money for representation or money for something here. And then like she wants to go and get a lawyer or an attorney or something like that, looking into how to remove you. How do I get this person out? But I am healed. I am a healed person. Okay, and I just want my son, my daughter, my he, she, they to be filled up with love. Okay, they need to be away from people who are overbearing. I heard people who are overbearing. 
but they don't like your energy because you are the high priestess because this person definitely did something to try and make you fail or they will do something to make try and make you fail and they're gonna be scared when they realize that it didn't work they're gonna be very very scared when they realize it didn't work because this eight of swords i was going to put next to the high priestess and i realized i've done the six rows i've got six rows of cards i'm coming back to the first which is them whatever they sent out towards you which was supposed to bind you they bound themselves with ill luck they bound themselves they bound themselves in some sort of karmic cycle that they can't get out of and it includes the devil or it includes and this is weird it's giving me like biblical devil This may be the person that um, in some of my earlier readings was using a holy book. It doesn't have to be the Bible, but was using a holy book to um, curse and hex and send jinxes and mad juju and all the rest of it. Using like verses from the holy book, which is just bl it's blasphemous and I'm not even religious. Like, how are you going to do that to keep someone stuck in ruin? Because you've got death here in reverse, you have six of one in reverse, and you have the high priestess. They were trying to keep you in some, some sort of lack of victory. Some, and this was to do with your healing, your emotions. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah, temperance in reverse. They're trying to mess up your healing, the way that you balance yourself. Let's put those down, okay. Well, how did that work out? It did not, did it? Where would you like me to go? Top or bottom? None, because it's trans. Okay. You are being asked to take action, though. There's something that you have to take action on. Let's figure out what it is. What would you like, Spirit, to take? What would you like, Spirit? What would you like, Collective, to take action on, Spirit? What would you like me to take? action on too many yeah i thought so what would you like the collective to take action on i heard when when the situation will improve within the next few weeks there's something that you're being asked to do in the next few weeks this B word was doing something to your emotions and something to your health. Because look, you've got here improving health. They may have sent something to do with your emotional body that affects your physical body. Because again, this angel is holding a chalice. And Archangel Gabriel that holds our west, our left, is the Archangel of Water, Dream Time and Emotions and has a chalice and a diamond white fire around them. How very, very interesting, because this also looks like the bottom part of the caduceus, which is healing. This is healing the emotional body. They tried doing something, or this person tried to do something to mess up your emotional body and the way that you heal. This was keeping someone in doubt or keeping someone feeling unworthy with success in reverse. So the action that you're being told to do, especially with recovery here, it may actually be to... In the next couple of weeks, your health is going to improve. Again, not a doctor. If you have health issues, please ensure that you speak to someone in the medical profession um, and industry before you take any advice from me, okay? I am not responsible for your health. Mm -mm -mm. Look for a sign that's upside down. There is a need to um, focus on your health or focus on some sort of nutrition here. The situation is going to improve in the next couple of weeks anything else we need to know about this you are ready ask for help from others this may actually be getting a nutritionist this also could be going to therapy there's something about investigating that lump or that stomach pain or that that thing that's been niggling you you're being told go to the doctors and speak to them okay because you are going to get healing from this someone will listen to you because now i'm looking at this third row and it's got the two of cups balance healing the heart space emotional body king of cups and this person sitting down listening and you have the knight of swords in reverse somebody here will listen to you you're ready to do this that's what they were trying to affect wow that's not very nice is it? 
there's something better and abundance. Oh, this person has trapped themselves away from money because they thought there was something better. This person's given themselves like a gambling debt of some sort. Oh my goodness. Or some, It's like a dopamine chase. They're constantly dopamine chasing. If you believe. How ironic, and I don't believe in, in like coincidences, that the last row, which is panic stations, getting people to believe, you know, the lies that they've been telling about you or even the person that they, that you are going to be working with, you know, collaborating with, maybe even falling in love with, is that this is if you believe when what they want is people, look, remain positive, to be upset over their treatment and how you've stolen this person or how this person is under a spell or how you are a demon or something along those lines. It's some something extra and dramatic like that. That's crazy. Okay. Anything else before I go? Where would you like me to go? Okay, let's have a look here. And then I'm going to be closing it up. Oh. Co-create and chop wood. The need to co... There's something here about working smarter rather than harder or working simpler rather than what would be and more complex with more details between worlds and chop what is coming out again there is a need to um yeah because if you look at this as well even with the between worlds one of them is really bright and really garish and the other one is a little bit more muted there's a need to either simplify or there's a need to work smarter when it comes to taking action and that could be taking action in this connection that you have to this emperor or whether that is the taking action in how you cleanse or remove and can continue to remove whatever this tomfoolery is by this person that keeps looking at you and being like you won't you you won't be young all the time you won't look like that all the time come to the edge and loyal heart Okay, so this is to do with um, how you face fears. This is to do with your work, but it's also to do with the way that you face fears. Coming to the edge with heart space there. How you open up, how you, um, especially with the situation will improve. And then you have the loyal heart underneath. It's trusting that in the next couple of weeks, especially with the owl coming out, you may want to look at the last reading that I did wearing this pink top because it was talking about an owl person or being an owl person. And look at that, two owls are on here. And what about the last one? Thank you. All that glitters. The reason that they're going into panic stations and rushing to either like their place of worship or whatever that may be is because they actually do want money. They want money. And they're going to say something about a mask that you're wearing. They may wish to take someone to court here or try to take someone to court. OK, and it's definitely to do with a home because it says no place like home upside down. That's what they're worrying about. It's the home that they're in. It's the home they're in. The home that they're in is not theirs. It's actually the emperor's and the emperor's may be kicking them out at some point to give it to you. Oh, my giddy on. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, so family. Hearts, is that a heart? Yes. Kisses. I will see you in the next one. Please know my readings are still open. Um, I think I have like two spaces left. If you would like to have a reading with me, just have a look down in the description box for some people who are having trouble finding the description box just click the little word that says more next to the title and it will open up the description box for you and if you scroll like two seconds you will see my services and my prices please make yourself familiar with my prices before emailing me okay um once you are um email me let me know what you need i'm here i'm here i'm here